In this course, we focused on changes made to chapters 2 through 7 of the UPC, going over many of the most significant updates. One of the most important changes was the addition of requirements for dead legs. In previous editions of the UPC, the concept of dead leg was practically non-existent. It didn't have any sort of requirements associated with it. For the 2021 UPC, we have not only a new definition and a new requirement for dead legs, but an entirely new appendix that addresses the issues arising from stagnant water. The 2021 UPC defines a dead leg as a section of potable water pipe which contains water that has no flow or does not circulate. This lack of flow or circulation can happen for many reasons, but one that has become much more common recently has been prolonged building disuse due to lockdown from the COVID-19 pandemic. No matter the cause, when a building is shut down or sees a reduction in operation with significant changes in normal water use, there's the potential for serious health risks to occupants once they return to these buildings. The new requirement for these situations is found in Chapter 3 of the 2021 UPC. While it's impossible to prevent dead legs in a plumbing system, the new requirement mandates that dead legs have a method of flushing in order to protect the public from any dangers from the stagnant water. In addition to this, Appendix N was created to address the specific impact of water temperature on both scalding and Legionella growth. While this new appendix was not adopted by Oregon, it is available either for informational purposes or for local adoption and contains valuable information plumbers across the nation should be familiar with. Thank you for choosing At Your Pace Online for your education. We wish you all the best in your career.